what's up guys and welcome back to this video so in today's video i am going to show you guys how to install the ink cartridges for the epson xp 15000 as you guys know in my last video i converted my xp epson printer into a dtf printer and so i know you guys have a lot of questions in reference to the convert and one of those questions was how to install the cartridges. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, I do want to go ahead and introduce myself. So my name is Ashley. For those of you who are new to the channel, in this channel, we go over a lot of hacks in reference to the DTF hack. We did upgrade to the DTF, like doing the actual DTF printing. So we, I'm not going to say we're no longer messing around with the hack but we don't have to use it as much. I also do tutorials on how to use Canva or anything that you may need help with. I show you guys how to use your settings in your printer. So pretty much anything DIY crafting wise, I show you how to do on this channel. And I do give you business tips in reference to how to either start up a business, how to start up a t-shirt business or whatever venture that you want to go into i do give some advice on that and i also do talk about a little bit of freight dispatching on this channel as well so as my husband tells me i'm the jack of all trades so i do a little bit of a lot on this channel so if that's something that you're into then stick around for the videos if not i thank you for stopping by and i hope to see you again so without further ado we are going to go ahead and jump right into this video and also, I would just want to ask you guys, can you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you are new and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new and upcoming videos that I share on this channel. All right, guys, let's go. So here we have the Epson XP 15000. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. So as you can see right here, this is where the cartridges once were. And I'm going to show you when you first get the printer, what cart cartridges go in here. But then I'm going to show you the ones that I replaced this with. As you can see, there is some coloring and ink, dried up ink here that I have been trying to clean out for the last couple of days. And now I just had it drying out. So that way, when I go to do my next print, I don't have to worry about it still being wet. So when you take your printer out of the box, it's going to be more cleaner than this, but I'm just showing you something. When your printer come out, comes out the box, this is the cartridges you will see when you pull your inner out, when you pull your printer out of the box. This is what you'll see right here. And as you can see, it does have a color scheme that you want to follow. I'm trying to, you're not going to really see, I guess, the focus in here. Oh, there we go. So I have it focused. All right. So as you can see, we have the cyan, we have the gray, we have the red, we have the yellow, we have the magenta, and we have the black. You do want to follow this color scheme when, you, when you're putting in the replacement colors because if you don't, when you go to print your images uh with your cad link or your accurip or whatever software that you use to do your dtf printing it's going to be confused because the lineup in those softwares um it it, it picks it up when you install the printer so you just want to make sure that you have these aligned correctly now so what you want to do when you get your printer and you pull it out the box and you're ready to switch out the cartridges you want to you see this tab right here you i don't have these completely inserted because i already replaced my cartridges i don't want to mix these colors with um the colors the uh dtf ink that's already sitting at the bottom of these um holsters so what you want to do is you're going to hit this right here and what happens when you do that, I'll show you just one, the black one, because the black one is pretty simple. Um, so with that, you're going to hear a click and it's going to pop. So when you hear that, all you're going to do is you're going to remove the ones 
that came in your printer. You're removing these and when you remove them, you're going to cover them with these caps right here. And you'll see what I mean in a second, but you're going to cover them with the caps. So you're just going to remove each one of these out of your printer like so. And then once you do that and you have all these remove and cap, just set them aside. Don't throw them away because what you can do some, what you'll see is a lot of people, they actually drain the ink out of these ones and use these as the replacement. I did not do that for the sake of time and just because I didn't want to mess with the hassle. So I did not drain these to put the DTF ink in here. Um, but there are videos that show you how to do it. And I believe um, there's something on here where you can actually drain them from, but I don't see it and I'm not going to mess with it and tell you guys a lie and mess you up. So I'm just going to show you the way that I did it. So again, remove these from your printer, make sure you cap them and store these away. So right here is where I have my replacement cartridges um, and I keep it on like a padding or something because this ink, as you can see, it will spill or it will leak and you don't want to mess up like, you know, your appliances or anything like that. So you do want to keep some type of towel or something down when you're doing this. So here I have my replacements. And I did fill these already, but what I will do is I will fill one of them so that way you guys can see how you want to fill these. And I also keep a solution kit as far as um, the cartridges as well. So when I do my printhead cleaning, I run these in there so it can clean it um, more than what the regular cleaning does. So you do want to make sure you get um, an extra set for your cleaning solution. And here's the cleaning solution I use. I'm actually almost out of this, so I do need to get some more. And most of these products that I have, I will link them in the video just so you can um, see them in the Amazon um, storefront that I have. So... You want to get yourself a syringe and you want to get the like the needle that goes with the syringe so that way you can pull the ink from the container and um, put them in here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my white just because my white can feel a little bit. The ink that I use is this DTF ink here and I will have this linked in as well. It actually is a pretty good ink. I like it. I haven't had any issues with it. So I like it. Um, these look pretty filled. So I might, I'm trying to see which one has a little less. Well, this is what I'll do. So you, there's going to be some caps on here that you guys will see on your cartridges. You want to actually, you want to leave. Well, when you put insert these in your printer, you for the whites you want to remove these um so that when you way when you print these the white will release a little better um but for now i have them on only because they have not i cleaned out my printer so i did not want these to spill in any way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my bottle of ink i'm going to use my syringe and i'm just going to pull a little bit as you can see i'm just going to pull a little bit of ink just so I can show you how to insert it. So you want to take your ink. You're going to take your cartridge and you're going to put it in. You're going to put it in this hole right here and you're just going to squirt it. Now yours shouldn't overfill like mine just did. You do want to wear gloves when you do this. I did not put on any gloves and I should have, but I did not. But you do want to, when you, let me show you. 
So when you fill this, right, you have two sides. This is like a sponge on this side that will absorb this side of the ink. So if this was empty and I poured my ink into here, it this side would absorb first. And once this side is filled, so you do have to wait around a little bit for this side to absorb all the white. Once that side is absorbed, then you can go ahead and put more ink. And then you'll see how this side will stay like this. Now, I would recommend for you guys to get the bigger, um, I guess, containers, if you can, for your ink. Because these little cartridges, depending on how much you're printing, they do run out fairly quickly. So you do just want to make sure you are getting bigger um you know, containers than what I have, because I'm telling you, I have to fill this thing every couple prints. Um, but I would need to install the bigger size containers. So that way I'm not having to keep replace these, um, every couple prints. So now I'm going to show you guys how to insert these in the printer. So that way you can see how they would go in. Also, with the capping station that I was talking about, when you pull these from the cap, you can see the ink that's inside of there. But all you have to do is this. Go from the front, then work your way to the back, and you'll hear a click to know that it is secured. I'm going to do that one more time just so you guys can catch it. All I did was insert the this part first, and then... I clicked it and you heard the click. Now, the so to know that you have these on the right side before you even insert them in, this flat part right here and this part, you'll see and notice that this butt part like sticks out and there's a flat back here. So if you have these two on the same side, you know that you're going to have an easier time placing this in like this because if you try to do it the other way around, it's not going to work. So just make sure you have that line correctly before you go ahead and try to snap it. Okay, so here we are back at the printer. And when you are inserting your cartridges, just make sure you do not mix your colors because if you mix your colors, you will have a mess when it comes to printing. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I insert each one in here. I want you guys to get a good look at that. It's my magenta. And I have my cyan. Then I have the white. Now you'll notice that there is no label for the white. So you'll see that they say gray and red you know that those are the white so make sure it just to be on a cautious side you put a w for these to know that they are white if you would like to i have noticed that some people have done that so if it helps you to label it to know that those are white then i would recommend that you do so and i'm going to show you as you can see when I um, had these sitting on my napkin, they leaked terribly. So just make sure you are using that level of protection um, when you are messing with the ink, just so you don't mess up your appliances. Now, when you go to do the cleaning solution, you're just going to repeat the same steps. And that is how you are going to insert your cartridges. If you... Um, are not sure where the color should go. There is always like this color chart right here to know that you are in the right space for your colors. And that is all to it to insert the cartridges. You will notice some people when they have the bigger ones, they'll have like um, the section taped up up here and they'll have it running from like their station Again, I have not set that up yet. I will need to do that, but 
I just wanted to show you guys how to insert these cartridges really quickly. So yeah, that is how you do that. So guys, that is the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope that this video has helped you in the way that you were expecting it to. And if you have any questions or anything about how I did today's video, go ahead and put them in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer any questions that you may have. As you guys know, in any of my videos, I always answer and respond to all my questions that come through. So just again, send me a comment if you have questions, if there is anything else that you would like to see me do. And if we get enough comments, in reference to the same thing, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and do a video like that. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and share, share, share this video. Also, again, hit that notification for the bells and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I thank you for stopping by. Until next time, guys, take care. Oh, and also, again, all the links to all the items that I have will be in the description of this video. Till next time. Bye.